Welcome back, everybody. We are playing Subnautica. We're gonna travel around a little bit today and see what kind of stuff we can get into. No real mission, just exploration. Like we found the floating island. Awesome. It wasn't even that far from us either from the life pod. But it I believe it did move, so. Oh cool. Alright, well let's go check this out. See if we can't find a way to get up onto the island. There's the... I guess that's the back of the Aurora? Yeah. So this has... this has moved. I don't... I think it's moved closer. <laughs> oh, here we go. This looks like it might be a way to get on. Try to get a, a little closer. Okay. I'm guessing I can get up. Oh yeah, yeah okay. Yes, I can. All right. So, but first thing, we probably need. I want to repair. It's just in case something happens to it. I know it's at like a hundred percent. Okay. All right. We also have our. Wait a minute. We have our scanner. Uh, I still have multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. I still can't get the original scanner to work. I can't get it to um, do what I need it to do. So we're using a new scanner that we made in the last one. So probably don't need to have that out right now. Hey, let's go explore this island. It, unfortunately, it's getting dark <laughs> as we as we came up on it, but hopefully we'll still be able to see. We do have our flashlight, so if anything, I can take our flashlight out. Well, before we start heading under, I want to look around first. We actually already have we have some of those seeds already. I don't know what this is. I guess it's nothing. All I need to get out. Man, I didn't bring a beacon either.
it does take up a lot of space. Okay, we'll hang on to it for now. Um, if I find something better, I might get rid of it. You know how much space all this crap is taking up in our inventory. Um, we'll drop one of those. I don't even know that I can do anything with this stuff that I'm collecting. Caps. I think we already have. We already know what these are. Oh, what's this thing? Hey, here we go. This looks like somebody planted planted this. Oops. Marble melons. Hey, if I need water <laughs> and a grow bed, which that's also helpful. That means we can grow stuff if we ever get our habitat going. Quiet. I'll take some of these melons with me. Um, yep, someone's definitely growing stuff down here. Chinese potato. And my inventory's full. Of course it is. Chinese potato plant. What do we got in our inventory that I can toss out? Oh man, the melon thing took up a lot of space. I'm hoping if there's uh, grow beds, that means there's like um, maybe a living space out here or something. Maybe. So there's the bridge. Let me head up this way before we go across the bridge. I want to see if there's anything else higher up. Yeah, a nice view of the uh, the ocean and the the aurora. Huh? 
Okay, let's go ahead and cross over. Let's cross the bridge. See if we can't find something, some other stuff to scan. gonna take that with me. We're gonna keep going. If anything, we'll have to come back and find this again. It's a PDA. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, let's. Integrate this is new PDA data. Looks like Degasi. Uh, let's listen to this. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got? Some six weeks later, a dead crew. A habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens, a couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. So it looks like Degasi decided to do an expedition and ended and it ended badly for them. <laughs> oh, we haven't done this yet. Oh, and there's the base. I can see it. Lantern tree. I should probably take some of that. Oh, nice. Look at this. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Freaking... Get out of here. Don't want to die.
integrating new PDA data. I can't kill it from here. I want to so badly. I think it's stuck, which is good because I don't. I don't want to see it. Let's see. I thought there was something I could scan. Yes. Sweet! We can now make a room. Wall planner. I'll go ahead and scan that. Anything else in here we can scan? I guess not. We already had this table. I don't think I brought... Ah, I did not bring a... I don't have a health thingy, so... Let's see what this says. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. I guess that was about the purple tablet. That crab is stuck in there. I wanna... Okay, I think I... Did I kill it? I think I might have killed it. Is there anything else I can scan here? Blueprint acquired. They're stuck inside of the stupid thing. It's just really annoying. Okay, so this was kind of cool. I'm glad we found this. I was kind of hoping we would find it. Looks like there's another one, like, way up there. Head up towards this one and see. Uh oh. I don't even know how to. I don't know how to get up there. Let me see if there's a path or something, maybe? I wonder if this keeps going up. Maybe, but it sounds like it's about to fall apart. Okay, I'm stuck. The bad thing is, I'm gonna get up here and then I'm gonna have to walk all the way back down. Data. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. 
All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking of. I guess we need to go to the other side. Wonder if I can wonder if I can get down this way without having to take the path. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. <coughs> How? And we got an achievement and some other thing is tagging me. Okay. What's in here? Oh, battery. Oh, there's another PDA. Alright, let's listen to this PDA. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son. Go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgal, has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Integrating new PDA data. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Maida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. 
If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. these things. I like them. I would take some with me, but, you know, we don't have any inventory space. No, not more of these guys. They're gonna kill us. Here's our sea moth. Uh, it's over there. I wish I could leave something here so we could, you know, find our way back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let me see. If I turn... Where are we in relationship? Okay. We're gonna head this way. We're gonna head back to the life pod, and hopefully when I come right back around... I think I can drop beacons on land, can I? I don't think I can. Let me try. I don't think it'll let me. Oh, I can. But I don't think this is going to work, right? I mean, if I leave it there... Oh yeah, I guess it will. So I can actually drop this. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna drop it there. I'll... Well, we will drop it before we leave. At least that'll mark the mark it, and if it is moving, I'll be able to find it. Ooh, check this out. This is like super blue water. Okay, we're gonna head up. I think we're gonna head up. I think it's towards this one. I think that's where we need to go. Come 
Come on, guy. He can't jump that. Climb it. Oh, you can make it. <laughs> he can't. He can't jump up there. Ah. Oh. Hopefully this is the right one. It's not the other one. Okay, I think this is the right one. We haven't been in here yet. I'm taking this water. <laughs> There's something, something to scan. integrating new PDA data. Okay, let's see what this PDA has to say. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. There's no body. I I want to find a dead body. I know how morbid that sounds, but seriously, like all we're finding is like logs. There has to be like skeletons or something around here, you'd think. Alright. Okay, before I leave, so I, I think that's all that we can do here. I don't see anything else. We've got a, pretty much seeds from everything in the area. I and mean, I think we've collected all the data logs we're going to collect. We've already been up that way and there was nothing and we checked that out. So we're going to head back. And I'm going to leave a beacon on this island so we can chart it. In case we ever have to come back here. I don't know that we'll have to come back here, but you never know. I kind of want to go down here and see what's in this blue water. Oh, there's some, there is something down there. We do need to go down here. Can I... Is this going to kill me if I jump? I'm going to try to jump. That's from Assassin's Creed. All those years of eagle diving. <laughs> That's what it's come to. Integrating new PDA data. Board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't.
can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from 2nd Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ, seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Well, that's a shame. This whole this whole game is just sadness. Build your hopes up because you think you're gonna find somebody, but there's nobody here. And I know that, but every time I get a message, I want to think differently. There's no way. If I jump, I'm gonna break my legs. So before we go, we're gonna leave a beacon here. I'm gonna put it about probably right up here somewhere. But I don't want it to get into the water and float away. So I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully it'll work. Oh, I can't name it because I dropped it weird. Come on. Okay, floating island beacon is a go. <laughs> I'm also gonna probably need to fix some of these. Okay, I'm gonna go to my beacons here. I'm gonna make these orange. I feel like I need to make them brighter colors because I can't see them half the time. I'll leave those as green. Make this one orange too. Things that I can explore. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, cool. So we're gonna head back towards the life pod. I'm gonna dump some of my stuff. Actually, while we're heading back, I'm gonna 
You know, honestly, I think we probably looked around here too and I just never noticed that the island was there. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh no, grab it! There we go. Ah, grab it. Dang it. There we go. We are low on materials. We've been using a lot of materials to build stuff. So... It won't hurt us to stop and grab a couple things if we can. Because our next mission, since we've got a whole bunch of stuff, is to um, build a base. Let's see if this is something I can scan. Ah, that's a laser cutter. Check this real quick. What would it cost us to make a multi-purpose room? Just takes titanium. Okay. Enamel glass. That's the thing we don't have. Actually, you know what? Instead of going there, let's head to the let's head back to the scanner room instead.
passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Oh, I don't want to name it. I just want to open it. There we go. We're going to start storing some stuff in here, I think. Some of this stuff in here. Actually, open this. store that in there. There we go. We're starting to get some stuff stored in and eventually I'll uh, put two more over here and we'll start organizing it a little bit better. For right now it just it is what it is. Uh, I can take this battery out. Okay. Alright and I think that's going to be it for this episode. We did kind of a lot. We explored the entire floating island and then in the next episode we are going to go head out to the uh, Degasi Habitat, if we can get to it. We're gonna head that way. So, if you guys like this episode, you know what to do. Please leave a like, share, favorite, comment, or subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with more videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Kataro. This is ETX Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!